The origin of this monumental church with three naves in the Gothic style is very ancient and dates from apostolic times. Tradition has it that it was first an ancient temple or a little church erected close to the scenes of piety of the early Christians converted by the voice of the holy apostles Peter and Paul. Thereafter, as the number of Christians grew, San Paolino da Nola decided to extend it converting it into a cathedral that he dedicated to the Virgin Mary. It is said to have been the Count of Fundi, Leone Caetani, great-grandson of Pope Gelasius II, Senator of Rome, who rebuilt the church, which was dedicated to St. Peter. And on the 12th of December 1638, it was consecrated by the Bishop Maurizio Rogano, as can be seen from the inscription on the left side of the church. The imposing and majestic façade has only one entrance, as with all the churches of Fondi, with the exception of Santa Maria. The convergence of the vertical lines, the upper gable and the rose window, enliven and break up the formidable continuity of the frontage, producing a dynamic overall harmony that draws the eye upward. The carved travertine façade is in the Renaissance style and has a carved Gothic portal. The porch is made up of two columns resting on lions that support the architrave, surmounted by a Norman-style rosette. The mosaic of the lunette depicts the gospel story of Jesus giving the keys to St. Peter. Another mosaic at the center of the architrave shows Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Both were created in the second half of the 20th century by Domenico Purificato. On the arch of the doorway above the cornice that horizontally divides the façade, the statue of St. Peter, set in a Gothic edicule, stands out, wearing pontifical robes with a tiara on his head, in the act of blessing the city, the work of Arnolfo di Cambio. To the right, on entering, is an inscription that commemorates the passage of Pius IX, accompanied by Ferdinando II on his return to Rome from Gaeta. Incorporated between the apse and the series of side chapels in Cornu Epistolae, the bell tower, dating from the second half of the 13th century, is a patchwork of architectural styles with its mixture of single Romanesque mullioned windows in the midst of double lancet windows with arches and trefoil windows on the same floor. St. Peter's Church was the scene of an important historical event. The consecration of the anti-pope, Clement VII, by 13 French and Italian cardinals under the protection of Honorato I Caetani, in opposition to the legitimate Pope Urban VI. In the right transept of St. Peter's Church, we find the 12th century Cosmatesque chair on which the anti-pope Clement VII sat on the 31st of October 1378 to receive the tiara from Honorato I Caetani. With the election of Robert of Geneva to the papacy, the Western Schism began and was to last from the 20th of September 1378 to the 26th of July 1429. The church also preserves two splendid paintings, the Annunciazione by Cristoforo Scacco, dating from 1499, and the triptych of the Maestà con i Santissimi Pietro e Paolo by Antoniazzo Romano of 1479. At the rear of the central nave, a cross is raised in the Byzantine style, depicting Christ painted on wood and dating from the first half of the 12th century. The church also retains evidence of its 13th century furnishings, in addition to the remains of the colored marble floor with discs embellished with marble strips. Attention is drawn to the pulpit in the central nave, made up of a marble casket, supported by three columns borne by animals. The work is signed by the sculptor Giovanni di Nicola and dates from around the beginning of the 13th century.